to do now is actually just apply the hair and just go round the hairline like this and just work your way towards her supposedly ears. Don't go on to the dress, keep it away from the dress if you can. And come on to this side because once the hat goes on you can't do anything more with the hair so you have to get the hair on at this point. And work your way round. For this lady I've decided she'll have quite a nice bun because it's quite relatively easy to do a bun and it's just the right era for this lady. So just carrying on applying just in little little sweeping little lumps like that. Now bearing in mind it's going to be a bun. Put quite a bit on the top because you'll see in a moment why we need quite a bit of that up there. This is quite inspiring isn't it? I like this bit. So just decide that you've hit the hairline, just move it if you need to, just forward. The face is not going to be important but the hair is quite a feature the way you dress the hat. So just now just you're just about ready to start the um, movement of the hair. I'm just bringing that quite low onto her face at this point. And then just a little, really anything, a cocktail stick, anything that you happen to have to hand. So just sweeping round now because I'm going to sweep the hair round, give it lots of texture and bring this quite low because you're going to start to fashion this bun. Now that's okay where it is now. Just want to bring this right back to the other side and do the same. Quite a nice deliberate sweeps just to give a little bit of texture into that hair. Like that. Doesn't matter about the top. The top isn't going to be seen. You'll see what I'm going to do with that in just a moment. So just go right low down and then you need to drag quite a bit to the center and if it works it doesn't always first go it's got to be just right just make yourself a little bun it's the easiest bun I think anybody's going to make so you've brought that all up and you've just checked out that there's not too much of the original head showing underneath there. If you are worried about that you can just put a little bit of your brush just sweep it round underneath because they might just see the original little pleats from the original fabric. So you can just fill any of these little gaps from the original pleating on the head and just Dibble it round like that. So just to finalise that, just bringing that up, lots of definition. And then she's ready for a hat. Now this lady obviously needs a nice, quite a wide brimmed hat for the ear that I'm portraying. And the simplest hat that I've found to make is just literally from a piece of cardboard. And I've cut the size that I feel is correct for this lady. And that was just really a cereal bowl. I think it's probably about five inches diameter. And what I did was I cut a hole into the centre here. And the actual hole goes over the head and forms the hat. Now, if you want to make it quite pretty, you can attach the lace. And that sort of makes it look quite nice. What I do before I begin, I just need to give the hat a little bit of movement and how I do that is I just, in my hands, just mould it like that. 
just on one side because as I said before the faces aren't the important part of this particular lady so we need to disguise that and the hair is going to be a focal point so just to give her a nice brim that's actually going to go onto her face now what I want to do before I go any further I want to actually just check her hat out for her head and And yes, I'm quite happy with that. That's going to be all right. So I just need to very carefully take that off. And then just, if you want, it's not necessary, but if you want, you can just wash with your, your filler mix on the underside. But really, um, just when you come to paint the lady in a day or two's time, you could actually just paint that. That would be quite sufficient and at this point if you just turn it over and actually just ever so lightly just touch against your hand with the filler onto the lace not a lot but just lightly it just sets the lace so everything becomes the same color and even if you decide that you don't want to paint your lady she is all harmonious and everything just looks okay so just right the way around and then just bearing in mind that this is the brim that we've pulled down if you look at your lady again and this is over this side of the face where the hat and the hand is holding that's going to go just over a face now if I just check that out by just turning it round slowly yes that's quite a nice position for the lady to be because for this side you've got the importance of holding the hat and for that side, of course, you've got the lovely hair. And what you need to do now is just take the brush across the top of the head and just paint this over. And this forms the shape of the hat. Now, if you're happy with that, you can actually just then carry on and just paint the rest of the hat. Just just lightly around now as you're turning the turntable so just check it out now all the way around see that you've done it in a nice all one way and then you could put flowers on there if you wanted but I quite like just to put a little bit of the cotton material around that hat and I'll just show you how that's done now so if you just now pop this onto the top of the hat and just by using the brush you can just tease all this around like that and just get more of the filler and just gently because you don't want it all to move just pop that in and around the hat so that's quite a nice effect now and the lady is almost complete all that you need to do in about two days time just wait till she's quite dry and take a palette knife and just cut her all the way around just pressing lightly onto the base and she will just come off there now then she can be put onto a base of your own choice so i'd like to leave you there now and you can enjoy some more of my figurines